Hey, so I've been requested to make a Cobbleverse update video, let's say the mod pack updates from 1.2.1, which is what I made the tutorial in how to make the server. So this is 1.2.1 CF, as it's said right here, mod pack version, and then there's an updated to 1.3. Now you can update this in several ways. I'm just showing you the simplest way to make sure that it goes right. So I'll show you that it is actually a one to one server as we can just log into it right now. I'll log in over here. Um, I'm not afraid of leaking any IPs or anything because it's locally hosted. Um, as you can see, I've got stuff in my inventory. I've got some stuff in my backpack. I've got a Brock badge and I have Pokemon in my PC. All right. Now. Server works fine. I can run around. I'm an operator. I can go creative, fly around. My first gym was over there. This village is actually pretty cool. Um, we can try to catch that Pokemon if we want. Maybe we just eat. Probably won't work, but just to show that the actual game works. As you can see, the Pokeball didn't work. Um, now, let's update this pack, right? So we close out. Quit, quit out of one to one CF. Then the server itself, we gotta stop the server. Then we open up the Cobbleverse server files. This is a folder I made inside of that folder I made the actual server folder, which is what you all see. Um, the reason I put this inside a, net, a separate folder as well is because what we wanna do every time we update any mod pack is we copy the server create a backup of it. The reason we create backups is so that if we mess up in any way or form, the server doesn't actually fully break. Now we have this new version. Well, we have got the backup and we've got the actual version, right? So now we can rename this to 1.3 because that is the exact version of Cobbleverse that we're going through. We'll boot this up and while that boots up, um, I'll explain what we're going to be doing. So because we made an actual backup, we can also be a little bit more forceful in our update instead of having to figure out exactly which files need to go, need to be updated and stuff like that, which is technically possible if you were to uh, check the change logs of the mod pack. Like right here, it says mods updated mods removed like you could do all of that it even said mods added right but the easier path to doing this is going into your server after you've made a backup delete config delete data packs delete mods which is delete those three folders then we go into the world folder and we delete the data packs folder as well now this is a clean slate server if you were to launch this server right now it would crash because it doesn't have any mods and it has modded items in there right this server doesn't work as it is because we still need to add the mods back. That's why I'm booting up 1.3 just to show you that it works in a minute. But if we click right click on CurseForge on the 1.3, we can open the folder. This will give us this folder, which is in my case, it has one behind it because I've got two instances of Cobbleverse, the outdated and the updated version. This is the updated because it was created later. That's why it has the one up here. Now, we deleted all kinds of files out of here. We want to put those back, but from the updated version. So config, data pack, mods, copy, paste. I'm using control C, control V for copy and paste. You can also go in here, right click, copy, but my PC is in Dutch, so you wouldn't even be able to read all of that. And then right here you paste, right? Um, now we just copy pasted the data packs over from the actual server, or no, from the actual client into the server. We've put mods, we've put config and data packs as well. Now we need to go into the mods folder and UI tweaks right here and the UI tweaks 4.07. We don't need that on the actual server, so we can delete those just fine and dandy. Now that we've updated the server, we can close the single player version folder and we can start .bat again. And this should, if you've done everything right, update your server from 121 uh, CF, which is the older version of Cobbleverse, to the newer version of Cobbleverse. 
as you can see down here, it says 1.3 CF because this is the updated version. I played in single player here for like two seconds just so that I had all the config files, the mods, and the data packs working properly because you always want to check that before you update. Otherwise, you have to use your backup to fix whatever you might have accidentally broken. As you can see, it says it's ready. Now, it sometimes will say can't keep up, server overloaded, blah, blah, blah. If it says that, it usually means you're capping out on either your RAM or your CPU, or your GPU, whatever, is running the server mostly. In my case, it's my RAM. It's got eight gigs. Minecraft itself got like six gigs. The recording software has got a couple of gigs and stuff like that. So as you can see, the server is back up because nothing in the files had to change for the server. So the actual local host still works. And I can go back into the server. It'll let me join over here again. And as you can clearly see, it loaded in just fine. We threw a Pokeball on the sheep Pokemon. What was it? A Wolf Leaf or something like that? I Wolf Lul. I don't know Pokemon names. I'm sorry. That's too many generations now. Um, and as you can see, I still have all my items. Still got all my Pokemon. And the backpack still works, even though it's on my back. Uh, still got my badge and all of that. So the server is now updated to 1.3. Waystones right here work just fine. And now I can start playing the game again with my friends on the updated version of Cobbleverse. If you run into any issues, please join Discord or leave a comment in the, the description, uh, in the comment section. Uh, do know that I will try to reply to all of you, but I currently don't make any money, money off of YouTube. Um, so I, there's no incentive for me to reply instantly. Um, so I try to reply at least once a day, maybe once every two days. Sometimes I'll reply more often. It just happens that I'm at my PC more often. Um, and if there's any other questions, let me know in Discord or in the comments. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and request any videos you want to see. This was requested by someone else. So this is how it's done. And I hope y'all have fun. And I hope y'all enjoy the game. See you.